Should the primary school leaving examination be abolished? While one polytechnic student said that PSLE was necessary to identify the cream of the crop, others felt that there should be a different form of assessment. Instead of testing the main four subjects, maybe we could add in other subjects to be, to be tested. And this will maybe take off the focus on, say, maths and science and all this. And at the same time, the parents will also be a bit discouraged to send their children for <laughs> tuition, you know, just to nurture them in these four areas. Add more subjects. <laughs> no, sir, not add more subjects. Um, reduce the emphasis on the four main subjects. Okay. And then what other things would you like to... If we reduce we could, emphasis, then will you have assessments based on other things? Yes, I mean, we could test music and art. Why are these ah, not, okay. in, not included? So add other, perhaps, non-academic subjects. Yes, sir. Make it clear that um, it, is not, uh, it is okay to do badly or it's, not, it's okay to achieve in some, but in other areas, it's okay to do not so well. Because you can test different skills like presentation, um, technical skills. It's not only based on academics. I feel that uh, PSLE should still exist, but it should be a major component of the, assess uh, of the weightage. Like for example, maybe about 60 or 70 percent, while the other 30 percent right, should be actually uh, a continuous assessment right, of character building. The students were speaking at an hour-long dialogue session with Senior Minister of State for Education and Information Communications and the Arts, Lawrence Wong, at the closing ceremony of the Polytechnic Forum on Friday. At the end of the day, you can tweak the assessment criteria, but behaviours will change and you may not necessarily solve the problem. Because at the heart of it, if people's perceptions of success in society is defined narrowly as this is the only way to success, then everybody will want to chase after that very narrow path. But if we are prepared to see things more broadly and change mindsets that whatever your abilities at a young age, well, you move on to the next level in education, you can be going to uh, whatever school, you will get a good education, you can be moving on to a technical stream or technical pathway, that's fine because that means that you are more hands-on and you're better able to do practice, hands-on oriented work. You go on to ITE, Poly, JC, it doesn't matter. right? These are all just different programs suited to people with different abilities. And then after that, you go on to work. Again, embrace different paths of success. Each path can lead to success in its own way and each path can lead to excellence and fulfillment in life. Students discuss the issue of better benefits for permanent residents, and one student expresses her love for the government in the next clip. <laughs>